Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Sheree Speedis. I'm the registrar here at Prince William Sound College. And today um, I'm going to start uh, the Suwatchet renaming ceremony with a land acknowledgement. The Prince William Sound College main campus in Valdez respectfully acknowledges that we live, work, learn, and operate on the traditional ancestral lands of the Chugach Aluktik Sukpiak people. These lands have been stewarded for thousands of years since time immemorial by the Chugach Sukpiat and Atna people. The traditional name of this area in Suksin, the language of the Sukpiat, is Suwachit, which means the people of the place that rises into view. Suwacha and the surrounding Prince William Sound villages provided a bountiful harvest for the Sukpiat, Atna, and Iyak people. Suwacha played an integral role as an overland trade route that linked interior Alaska to Prince William Sound. PWSC acknowledges a painful history of colonization and the resilience of the Chugach Sukpiat who still live here today. Valdez is a unique community in that the Valdez native tribe serves all local indigenous residents and is not specific to the Chugach Sukpiat. PWSC acknowledges the ancient and current indigenous stewards of this land who reside here today. This land acknowledgement is important to the PWSC campus because too often indigenous history is washed away and we strive to include both the ancestral and the contemporary history of the indigenous people in our region. Kwayanasanak, Chanan, Awa'ata, thank you very much. This all started way back in determining that land acknowledgement and what verbiage should go into it. A lot of research went into that from Sharice. She contacted people from various organizations, the, uh, gosh, the Aleutic Museum and Aleutic Language and Living Culture Center, the uh, Anna Bateman, the formal tribal administrator at VNT, who at the same time was a PhD student in the uh, in a UAF PhD program in cross-cultural studies. So all of this is informed by a great deal of PhD level study into what is this place? What was it called? What was it named? And why was it named that? Um, so that acknowledgement goes out that, that we did a considerable amount. And when I say we, I mean, not me. I mean, those people did a lot of homework to make sure that we got that part right. Um, the other thing that I hope we get right about this is that one of the most elegant ways to recognize anything is to call it by its name. We, we established what its name was, and so now we're putting that name in a place that's prominent. And this is a great place for that because it's one of the most heavily trafficked places on campus. People going to the fitness center, people going to the museum, down the hall to classrooms and, and student services. This is a high-use area. And this is a high use room. It's one of the places that organizations all over town will rent this out for us to have meetings or classes or other kinds of activities in there. So this puts Suache, the name for the place, in a very prominent place. You remember things because they're there and they and there are reminders to tell you not to forget them. And so this is our effort to do that. I started on trying to do this renaming about middle of last year, and here we are today, middle of this year, getting it done. So hopefully that means that if anybody ever tries to do something like change the name of this room, it will take just as much pain and suffering for them to try to do that. And we'll have plenty of opportunities to change their minds about that. But I did want to welcome you all to Swatch It. 